I know I shouldn't be drinking this, but we're gonna try Red Bull. Oh, that is just horrible. Today, we're gonna talk about pH. Now, I'm not gonna get technical, but I just wanna briefly explain why you might wanna know real simple basics about pH. So pH is just the acidity or alkalinity of water. Why this matters for plants is because different nutrients are available at different pH ranges. So now I'm gonna put a chart on the screen. Don't get nervous, but it's a very simple chart. Now we're just going to look at the yellow column. This just shows the optimal range of pH, and then it shows the different nutrients that are uptaken at that level. If you get too high of a pH or too low of a pH outside of that yellow optimal range, you're going to have nutrient lockout, and that's what causes nutrient deficiencies. This is tap water, and I have my cheap little pH meter here, and neutral pH is right about seven. You've probably heard a lot of like alkaline water and you've seen water stores around your neighborhood that sell alkaline water. That just means it has a pH above seven. Seven is the middle point, it goes up to 14, and it comes down to zero. Since we want a hydroponic or a LECA pH of down in the sixes, 5.5 to six-ish. We're gonna do a little test here because when we add in salts or the nutrient, the food for the plants, it's gonna swing the pH down. With our part A in, it hasn't swung it down too much. Watch as we add in our part B. There we go, we are now down to 5.6. And that is perfect. That is the water that we are supposed to water our LECA plants with because it's in the right alkalinity or acidity for this plant to uptake the ideal amount of nutrients. This is important in soil too, but your soil pH is very stable because soil has the ability to stabilize things. It's not just the plants aren't just sitting in water. But when we have a LECA plant, the importance of changing your water is that as this plant eats up the nutrients out of the water, this pH will change. That's why it's really important to pour out that water and add back fresh solution with a corrected pH and just for fun, because I'm tired and I'm shooting this video, we're gonna try Red Bull. Oh, that is just horrible. 3.5, 3.7. I know I shouldn't be drinking this, but it's what's keeping me awake. But that's really bad for you. So you need something to offset it. So I hope this hasn't been confusing at all. I tried to keep it very high level. I know I skipped out on a lot of the technical parts of pH, but it should give you a baseline and it should ease any fears that you have with LECA or hydro or semi-hydro. We hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you do wanna come back for more videos, please click subscribe down below and click the thumbs up if you did enjoy the video and or learn something new. So have a good day and we'll see you next time.